Um, Mary is a lifelong resident of Kettering, and she's a project manager by trade. She's a vice president of the Kettering Arts Council and a wry observer of humanity. She's proud to share the purpose of her life, which is to serve, by example, as a warning to us all. <laughs> her 2020 is called Danger to Self and Others. I, you're, you're talking about my life. <laughs> I know I'm going to get a standing ovation because you all have to leave at some point, right? Um, so I enjoy sharing my personal life, um, my life lessons, and I do act as, a, as an example to others. Um, and my car is a diesel. And I pulled into a service station one day to fill up my car. And this poor elderly gentleman who shuffled up to me went, No! That's a diesel! I'm like, yeah, okay, I know my car's a diesel. And I'm not stupid. I mean, in my mind, I was saying this, you know. Because um, there's neon yellow, and the nozzles are different sizes. And seriously, all I have to do is pull up to the green handle. It is not that hard. Until I pulled into a BP station. I'm like, oh shit, now what do I do? They're all green. <laughs> so, you know, it, it works that way. So, when my daughter was in high school, um, I offered to drive another cheer mom to a cheer competition, and um, she had just had a hysterectomy the week before. So, we were driving on, you know, in a convertible, tops down, August, beautiful Thelma Louise situation. She's like, oh my god, you've got to pull over. Something is wrong down there. I am on fire. I'm like, oh, shit. So we pull over, and you know, we, I'm like about to call 911 until I realized I had turned on the heated seat. <laughs> so, yeah, another idea. When my husband and I got married, he had this god up in 1970s waterbed, and I thought it would be really cute and take off at a dead run down the hallway and jump into bed and surprise him. And. Uh, that was actually the first time I broke my, my husband's nose. <laughs> uh, then he used to work midnights, and I was I'm a light sleeper, so when he would pull into the driveway, I would hear him, so I would pop up and say, hello, hey, how's it going? So one day I thought I'd be cute again, strip buck naked, jump out the front door going, hey, how's it going? Scared the shit out of the newspaper delivery guy. <laughs> and that is how my newspaper has been delivered every day since. <laughs> Toss this in there because who the hell knows what chicken flavored vegetarian ham is? <laughs> so, <laughs> what the hell is it? Uh, often vegetarians actually choose a lifestyle after some kind of an experience, right? So, I was driving on the highway one time, ran into a cardinal, and it got lodged into the grill of my car. And I'm like, oh man, what do I do now? So, I thought, hey, I've got a great idea because I have a lot of great ideas. So I pulled into one of those car washes with the hose thing, you know, popped the trunk, I'm leaning into the engine, trying to blow this damn bird out the front, and uh, blew it onto my boss, who saw my car with the hood up and thought something was wrong. And I actually probably should have used um, this car wash, because, <laughs> well, we wash it all night long. <laughs> And sometimes I do have fantastic, I mean, uh, fantastic ideas. And one day at work, we had received this shipment. It had these packing peanuts in it. So I thought I would dip them, you know, like if you dip the ends of them into a cup of water, and then you can put them together and you can build Stonehenge on your boss's desk. <laughs> um, well, until those biodegradable bastards melted into this concrete that wouldn't come off his desk, and I almost got fired over that. <laughs> and as part of the Kennedy Arts Council, we talked a lot about this. I think it actually, in this, in this particular product, Comic Sans would have been a good choice for them. And if you heard my last PK talk, you know that I'm not a good cook, and I might still be the only person who ever caught broccoli on fire while trying to steam it. So my husband said, ooh, cooking is not your thing. Let's try something outside, like gardening, like Amelia. So, I'm like, oh great, I can deadhead my husband's prize-winning, award-winning, 25-year-old clematis, right? No one told me those freaking roots look like they're dead, but they're not. So my neighbor comes shuffling across the lawn, he's Jerry, I'm like, no, don't cut any more off. I'm like, oh shit. So now my husband's like, all right, no cooking, no working with live plants. So how about if you rototill the empty garden? 
all right, it can't be that hard, right? <laughs> what could go wrong? Until I found all of the underground wiring. Or <laughs> <laughs> the spotlights for our house. <laughs> yeah, how was I supposed to know? <laughs> So, I mean, so all I have left are my looks, right? <laughs> That's not so bad. So I used to have these beautiful double piercings in my sternum. Loved them. I got them in the fall, waited, they, they set very nicely, and then the first nice summer day I drove to the store, unleashed my seatbelt, those suckers popped. Hurt like all get out. So, let's talk about penises. <laughs> because she actually has a side business now. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Who doesn't want a large dick for you know, entertaining purposes? <laughs> I'm actually, I get, I get confused very easily. And it's probably a good thing I'm a real follower because I would still be sitting there wondering what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> So I drove to McDonald's one day and I'm like, oh my god, how did they know about the voices in my head? It was not good. But those voices would have really come in handy the day that I went with my sister who decided to get her husband a ping pong table for Christmas as a surprise. Unfortunately, it was on the exact same day of one of my work Christmas parties and I got really stinking drunk. She had to come pick me up. So we got the ping pong table into the driveway and I thought, ah. I'll hop in the back of the truck and pull this thing to the edge so we can get out, right? So I grabbed one of those stupid little plastic things, pulled really hard, put all of my considerable weight behind it, landed flat on my back in the gravel. And now I just want to say thank you to the man of my life who has spent the past 26 plus years trying to keep me out of harm's way. <laughs> and uh, so thank you, sweetie. Love you. Happy anniversary.